Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Today, I'm gonna to be changing a Domatic air conditioner, and it's a configuration I've never seen before. This is a brisk air, and it has a heat strip, but it has the electronics pre-installed, like a blizzard or a, or a penguin. Never seen such a thing. Uh, it's, it's all hardwired to the coach. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why they did that. Uh, the, uh, you know, the new digital controls, uh, you can get it for the heat strip. So I, I don't know what, what this is all about, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to get started here. Uh, and, uh, yeah, well, y'all hang on. We're going to, we're going to learn how to do this one together. All right, we're going to get these grills off here so we can see what we're doing. Our AC, our EC wires are wired into a box right here, hardwired. Yeah, here's our here's our furnace wires. Here's our here's our control wires and our power and ground. It's all hardwired. I do not understand why why that is. The, uh, I don't know if it's just something, I don't know. I asked the, I asked the coach manufacturer, they're the ones that send us this air conditioner. Uh, Cause this air conditioner is bad. It's got a bad compressor. Uh, and she didn't know, I just think it's weird. Is there a power ground or, or power to the thermostat and our comm wire? There's no ground going to the thermostat, so that's a little bit different. Oh, there's our ground to the thermostat, so. I mean, it's wired just like the, the normal, you know, control box, but there's no, you know, the, the, like I say, the, all the electronics are built in. Let's go ahead and get the rest of this plastic out of the way. Make it easy, easier to get to the wire. get that cover off that box where the AC connection's at. You might have heard just now. Turn the fan on. Cut the breaker off. It's marked air conditioner. Sure enough, it was air conditioner. Every now and then they get one labeled correctly. But don't ever trust them labels. If you're doing this, don't. Double check it. Either you can check it with a meter or you can do it like I did, just turn the fan on, kick a breaker and the fan goes off, you know you got the right breaker. Right. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this clamp plate out of here too. Uh, make it a little bit easier again. It's gotta come out anyway, so let's just get it out of our way right now. Clamp off them 110 volt wires. We can get that out of the box. Get that out of the way. All right, so there's our 110 volt wires. Now we'll just snip, snip, snip our 12 volt wires. And we'll put them back later. Uh, 
that's the 12 volt to the teeth that. Should be loose. Yes, it is. All right, let's go up top. Yeah, Cameron's not with me today. The customer's gonna help me with this air conditioner because, uh, well, Cameron had a little boo boo last night. If he wants to tell y'all about it, I'll let him tell you about it. I know, I know you're you're just being helpful, but when I get when I come to start down this ladder, I don't want you around. Okay. Cause if something goes south, sacrifice the air conditioner. Save me and I don't want to have to worry about you. <laughs> so uh, all I need when I get right here, mm -hmm. I just need help getting it down to the ground. Okay. And then we need, I need to see help with the new one getting it to here. Okay. That's, that's all I really need, so. Okay. No problem. Okay. As you saw, we got the old air conditioner off the roof, the new one on, and I don't know what happened to my mic, it, it cut out again, but um, yeah, we, I was going to install just a, you know, a regular um, digital control box in this uh, for the time being, because I didn't have one for the heat strip, uh, which was not actually built into the air conditioner, actually four screws. Um, and it and it mounted to the to the air conditioner up top. Uh, I just wasn't uh, familiar with that configuration of heat strips when I I mentioned that before, uh, because all the old heat strips they just went in from down here at the bottom with a couple screws or whatever to hold it into place. But uh, they have completely changed the heat strips, and we just don't see many of the heat strips anymore. Uh, but apparently this this horse trailer uh, manufacturer they they use a ton of these and. Uh, so yeah, I was going to install, like I said, I was just going to install the regular uh, control box that I had and then uh, wait to get the proper one uh, for the heat strip. And then the, uh, the customer had a genius idea. Uh, I wished I had thought of it, but I did not. He did. And uh, here's what he said. Actually, the customer just said, hey, this might be a dumb question, but why can't we just put the other electronics in in this air conditioner I'm like well that's an awesome idea so that's what we're gonna do uh i am uh not gonna be taking y'all up on the roof today i'm just gonna go up and change that change that elect the electronic box and then uh we'll come back down then we'll come back down here and uh Get everything wired up. All right, so we got the uh, got the electronics switched around, so then everybody everything's just gonna go back just like it was. And uh, in theory, if we had done that from the get go, we could have just unplugged it from up top and not had to uh, do any hard wiring. But it's just six wires, so no big deal. That's what they make Klein strippers for. May or may not be a link to these in my Amazon store down below. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and get the AC wiring done real quick. It's it just color to color. Green to bare at your ground. White to white, black to black. Even Stevie Wonder could probably do that. Does anybody out there know who Stevie Wonder is? My, my demographic's starting to get a little bit younger. <laughs> oh, and the ladies. Ladies, man, you, you're coming on. You're almost 20% of my viewers now. 
So, uh, good on you ladies. I love, you know, I love to see ladies fix stuff. Oh, you gotta run the wires through the box, through the clamp first. See, I was just seeing if y'all was watching. Nobody said a word. Y'all just waiting for me to screw up, wasn't you? You didn't have to wait long. Yeah, it helps when you actually run the wires through the clamp instead of just running them through the front of the box. The only way to do a job better is do it twice, right? That may be our new motto. What do y'all think? I think it's a good one. The only way to do it better is do it twice. Yeah, I like it. And I know I keep telling y'all we're gonna have merch available. We're getting closer. I did hear back from my artist today. So I guess uh, now as soon as I pay him for the artwork, I guess I'll have my art and then I send that off to Teesprings and see about getting some shirts and stuff. All right, so the 110 wiring's done. Now let's get the 12 volt stuff done real quick. I've got a bunch of uh, bunch of aluminum tape to do up in here. The aluminum tape job is pretty rough. I'm not gonna bore y'all with just putting a bunch of butt connectors on six wires, so we'll be right back. All right, we just finished testing it. Everything seems hunky-dory. Now I'm gonna do some taping up in here because actually aluminum tape would but this thing look, look terrible. So I'm gonna do a bunch of taping up in here. And uh, the air dam between the two you know, between the, the return air and the cold air was horrible, horrible. So we got a lot, a lot of work to do there when we put that back up in there too. Uh, whoever, whoever was in a charge of air conditioning the day they built this thing didn't do quite as good a job as they could have. That's enough tape right there. I want to get the clamp ring on. That air dam is supposed to have double-sided tape on it. This should stick to it, but it wasn't uh, it wasn't not stuck at all. So we're gonna see if we can do a little bit better. clamp down now all right that all looks great now let's 
put this air dam back up in there and get it get it all taped in so we don't have any uh don't have any air leaks Well, that double-sided tape still had a little bit of sticky to it. We'll tape it in, then we'll put that piece of styrofoam back, back in there. Maybe it'll keep it from slipping down. Since the double-sided tape's not doing quite as good as it probably should. That'll keep her from sliding down on us. This is kind of laying in there loose when I got here. You do not want any air leaks between your return and your cold. So it makes your air conditioner very inefficient, but it also will cause it to freeze up on you. When it freezes up, it's no worky anymore. That stone, that foam insulation back up in there. We're gonna tape it too, especially around the sides. everything put except putting the plastic grills back on and I'm gonna just uh, cut this off right here put the plastic back on finish testing it uh, so I do need to test the heat strip and um, then we're gonna get out of here so uh, we're gonna go up the road and fix another one and uh, y'all have a fantastic day